Unit 3 Diversity and Adaptation in Living Organisms Lesson 3 Adaptation and Continuity of Life Extinction Some living organisms couldn't adapt to the environmental changes so they perished or they became extinct such as dinosaurs and mammals some forms of adaptation of living organisms hibernation estivation birds migration adaptation in the aquatic and desert plants and finally adaptation for hiding or camouflage let's talk first about hibernation in winter some animals hide in burrows as some reptiles and some insects. Some animals bury themselves in mud, such as frogs and toads. In spring, when the environmental conditions become suitable, these organs return back to their normal activities. In summer, living organisms face an extreme rise in temperature, a shortage in water and rain. So they become dormant and hide in humid burrows and keep the constancy of their body temperature. Examples Gerbo, desert snail, and some insects. In spring, when the environmental conditions become suitable, these organisms return back to their normal activities. Give reason for some desert animals go to estivation to overcome the increase in temperature. Birds migration. In winter, some birds migrate from cold and polar regions to more lighted and warmer regions for reproduction. In spring, these birds return back to their original habitats. Adaptation in the aquatic and desert plants. First, aquatic plants are divided into totally submerged in water, such as Elodia plant, partially submerged in water, such as Hyacinth or Nile Rose. Aquatic plants, we will talk about Elodia plant. Environmental problems. Shortage of oxygen. Shortage of light. Presence of water currents. Roots. They are weak because they are not needed to fix the plant or to absorb water. Leaves. They are small sized and ribbon like, so they will not be cut by water currents. They are sessile or necklace, so their connection with the stem will be stronger. Stem. It is elastic, so it will not be cut or torn by water currents. Also, it contains many air chambers or vacuoles to store an amount of oxygen gas produced during the photosynthesis process to be used, number one, in respiration, number two, to help a plant to float in lighted regions of water. What about desert plants? Environmental problems facing desert plants. Number one, shortage in water and rain. An extreme rise in temperature during daylight. Finally, strong wind. Roots of desert plant, they may extend vertically in soil for great depth to absorb groundwater, such as 
Calamagrostis plants. They may spread horizontally to absorb large amount of rainwater or dewy and store it. Number one, in the stem, such as a poncia plant, or in the juicy leaves, such as cactus plants. Leaves. They are small sized, may be ribbon like and spiraled, and a few number of stomata that lie deeply to reduce the loss of water by transpiration, such as Calamagrostis plant. They are surrounded with a waxy layer to prevent water loss by transpiration. They are used in store water such as in cactus. They are modified into spines to reduce the loss of water during transpiration process such as in Opontia plant. Stem. They are short to avoid the strong winds such as in cactus plant. They may be rich in chloroplasts to perform photosynthesis process such as in Opontia plant. Adaptation for hiding or camouflage. What's meant by camouflage? It is the ability of some living organisms to be hidden from their enemies or to capture the prey and the predatory species. Camouflage, example number one, leaf insects. It is an insect which is completely similar to a leaf of the plant. Example two, stick insect. It is an insect which is completely similar to the stem of the plant. The most famous example is chameleon. Chameleon is the king of camouflage. It can change its color according to the color of the surrounding environment, as you can see from this video. It has a great ability to change its color. Camel is the desert chip. Camel contains all kinds of adaptation that help it live in the hard conditions of desert. Some features of adaptation in the camel. Lacrimal glands and eyelashes. It has large number of lacrimal glands and two rows of long eyelashes to protect its eyes from this praising sand on time of the sand storms. Nostarials. It controls the opening and closing its nostarials to prevent the entrance of sand particles inside the nose during sand storms. Upper lip and teeth enamel. It has a forked upper lip and strong enamel of its teeth to enable it to eat the spiny and the dry desert plants without harming it. Ears. It has a small ears covered from inside with a dense hair to a bestrical dust and sand. The legs. It has broad flat pad legs to prevent they're diving in the smooth sand and thick skin to protect them from high temperature of the soil. Body four. Its four thickness differs at different body regions where it is denser at the vital body regions 
to provide protection from the extreme cold at night, its little dennis over other body regions to ease heat loss by radiation during the daylight. Blood temperature. Its blood temperature is not constant as in other mammals. It changes from 34 degrees Celsius in the morning to 41 degrees Celsius during the daylight hours. So the camel has no need for sweating. Sweat glands. They don't start sweating unless the blood temperature reaches 40 degrees Celsius. Storing fats. It stores fats in its hump to keep it for three or four months without eating any food. Drinking of water. The camel can drink 100 liters of water through 10 minutes only without affecting its blood composition. This amount of water survives it for a week or more without drinking any additional amounts of water. Losing of weight. The camel can lose 25% of its body weight when water and food are not available and its blood composition remains constant. This rate exceeds that of the other mammal's ability by twice nearly. On a jeep and another on my chest so I can rest On the sizzle and sand that ride like a pan Of course I'm the Sahara and my caravan I'm the legendary dromedary 400 pounds on my back in the desert I carry Nothing to drink until the next oasis Water is precious so we never waste it But I never get a grain of sand in my eye If the wind blows gyro, sand tornadoes I got better lips, kids, than J-Lo Long and thick with a double lash Close and fast, built to last In the hump on my back, got an extra tank Like a savings bank, packed with fat The hump on my back is packed with fat The hump on my back is packed with fat The hump on my back is packed with fat Won't say it again, cause you know all that Thick lips, uh, eat sticks and bones Scrubs that others leave alone. Sometimes sip for the salty brine. Cause the H2O is hard to find. My shaggy fur insulates. My body temps regulate. So I don't sweat and dehydrate. Live another day to procreate. Thanks for watching. This is the end of lesson 3.